without further ado, Jenny's new music video is out, and we are going to be reacting to it and breaking it down. Here we go, guys. I am pretty excited. Oh, wow. Okay, right into it. I'm curious if it's going to be YG editing or if it's going to be like Lisa, like her own company editing. So I'm curious if it's going to be more Americanized or if it's going to be more K-popized, if that's even a word. It looks already kind of like it's going to be Americanized. I could just tell by the shots. Let's see what we got here. Right into it, Jenny. Right into it. Holy. Yeah, this is definitely more Americanized. I I'm going to guarantee that the producer and director was an American director. You can really just tell by the way the shots are made. It's really obvious. Like, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, if it's a K-pop video, there's usually, like, I feel like more editing in it. In American music videos, they more they have, like, these different kind of shots with, like, color correction and, you know what I mean? So it's more like that so this is jenny as a kid i'm guessing nice match cuts holy crap she looks amazing wow bro jenny with the blonde hair though Jenny with the blonde, the the the, bl the blonde, like the the luxurious, luxurious, luxurious words and wow, I I just I'm I'm blown away. I can't even talk. She's blown my mind so much that I have forgotten how to speak. What's interesting about this shot right here is this could literally just be a shot of um. There could be two different ways they got this, I guess, where. It's a dolly shot. Obviously, it's like zooming out. They could have masked out each of the mirrors and then like put Jenny in different ones because it looks like this is different like from these ones, but it could just be a shot of the mirrors and then they move it where the camera's not going to get it. But you have to be so careful with that because there's a million mirrors. And then if you, yeah, that's kind of annoying. And then you have to be careful because like you could show the camera any second. It's so hard not to. But look, there, there's like, Oh, no, it's about the same. It's the same face expression. I think it's literally just her in the mirror, and then they just move the camera, and just, I think, it's a dolly zoom. I think that's all it is. God damn. A big thing with American music videos, they like to slow the footage down. So I've noticed that they'll they'll get it in like a higher frame rate, like 120 FPS or 60, and then they'll kind of like slow the slow the footage down a lot. And uh, that's what I kind of it's kind of interesting just the cultures of like editing like and and even in general different cultures like korean uh, music videos they have like different formats for their editing and their music videos and then for american music videos they have different formats as well and so on and so on and it's just it's really intriguing to think about it if you break it down because like there's so many different aspects that make a video a video and you could clearly tell i mean i could be wrong i i could be way off but i feel like this is an american director if i'm wrong leave a comment down below but i'm, I'm gonna take a, a wild guess and just throw it out there and say it's american, american director dude she looks And you notice how they're utilizing one scene, like the fact that they're able to, it's so impressive. The fact that they're able to hold out one scene for so long is incredible. The way they do that is by using different camera shots. Holy crap, Jenny, you are stunning. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude, that's insane. What the heck? Okay. So they have... I like that speed ramp they had when they say swing both ways. They like throw the camera up. I, I like that a lot. That's sick. 
So you see they're utilizing like different shots. So like one shot there, zooming out, then a close-up shot with like a more telephoto lens, which means like a more like it's zoomed in more. And then this shot is more of like a focal length, like a telephoto uh, shot basically. And it has like a closer up focal length, like a more of a distance. So for example, my camera's 24. This could be probably like a, like a 70, a 50, maybe even a hundred, something like that. And there's um, a nice Gaussian blur in the background. There's different ways to get that. So in the world of cinema, there's three things or uh, film, music, anything like with production cameras. There's three things that affect like the Gaussian blur, basically the blur in the background, the shallow depth of field, the aperture. So basically the camera, like how low that number is or high that number is the focal length. So it could be like 70 millimeters, 24, like minus 24. So mine is the worst camera to get um, motion bl or blur on, but I usually can open mine up more with the aperture and then the distance between the camera and the subject so uh it really depends on those three things but it, it this looks incredible it's really well shot i'm gonna turn the subtitles off because they're kind of freaking out right now sorry about that Oh my god, these outfits though. This looks like some Tomb Raider thing. Like, god damn. And the, that truck is that's a sick truck. Wow. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> that is such a good set. Holy crap, guys. The beat is nice too. Throw it. Throw it back. Jenny. 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 Jenny, what are you doing? God damn, Jenny. Whoa. God damn, Jenny. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. That's awesome. <laughs> Build up beat is nice. I like it. Who is making the beats? Whoever's making the beats in this and the, the instrumental? God. It's really unique, actually. I like it. It has, like, these cool, like... Um, I don't know what that thing was. That ding, dun, 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 dun. I don't know what that was, but that was really, really nice. I cannot sing, by the way, so I, uh, I, I apologize. <laughs> Guys, one more thing. What, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Last thing. It's so intriguing to me just how they can get so many shots of the same scene. Like, they do a flawless job of it you have to be careful sometimes of like filming in the same scene like you know like getting jump cuts or showing other cameras or just making something look kind of jarring and unnatural but they do it so freaking well they take the shot right here they cut and then they cut on the clapping right there which like uh, hello okay cut right there cut right there and they probably like you know film it multiple times so they can get different angles and things like that i you know they could do it one time but sometimes most of the time they'll film it like two three five even ten times sometimes and they'll try to get as many angles as they can for the music video and then the editor it's their job to basically make a story with the shots and decide like do i want this this close up of jenny do i want her to be further away right now zoom out zoom in and it's really like a big choice if you think about it some editors they kind of just like throw random shots and they're like oh i think this is gonna look good but you kind of have to like think every step ahead and it's 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 very difficult to put two and two together but you just really have to think like what's gonna flow together really really good and and ba base it off of that i cannot get out over the outfit holy crap
What the f- Whoa! Oh my god! What even is that car? Dude, that car is nasty. I feel like I, I'm not even worthy to look at a car like that. That car is worth more than my entire existence. That car must have been like millions or something, bro. Oh my god, that's a sick ride. Holy crap. Okay. Nice speed ramping too. I like it. See, so it's slow, 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 and then fast. You see, at the end, so what they do is uh, they, they make it slow, and then they speed it up, and it goes fast. And, I, and, you know, I gotta praise Jenny as well for having, like, the, what is this, the Kentucky Fried Chicken or whatever this is on the side, you know, you know, we all gotta have our cheat days. I, what I don't understand, though, is, like, how can you be eating freaking fast food and look like this? Like, I mean, like, come on, let's put two and two together. Like, how is that? She's, what? I'm sorry, you cannot be eating fast food and look like that. How do you look like that? She looks like, what? What? I be eating one thing of like fried chicken and then I, I look like I'm blowing. I'm blowing like crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of like a stick actually. I'm only 124 pounds. I'm kind of tiny. Everyone always says like I look like tall, but I'm not going to tell you how tall I am. Y you can guess in the comments. I'm not going to. I mean, I'm not that short, but you know. That's a nice car. What the f***, dude? This is filmed so well. She's a bad So far, the song, I'm really enjoying it. It's gonna take me some time to- It's gonna have to grow on me a little more. But I like this part more. The part- When, when the, the car came in, and then, the, like, the beat with everything came in like that, I- That was, like, an eye-opener to me. I like- I like that a lot. Wait a second. Is that the Back to the Future car? The raspy uh, voice she has too. I like that. I like that. It's sick. She's going wild in this video. Do you ever have a bias in a group and then you see something like this and then you're like, what bias, bro? What, what what bias? What are you talking about? There there ain't no bias in Blackpink. I you know Rose as you all know Rose is my bias. But watching this, I mean I mean look this frame right here. I mean like sometimes we have to question ourselves and take a step back, just a few steps back, and re reevaluate our lives and what we're thinking about. And okay, let's keep going. The fire in the set too. I think that that's real really sick i love how i love how there's like not too too much editing as well i, I love how they focus more on the shot i've been noticing that a lot with music videos and I, I really like that because like it's not about like throwing like shiny effects on and glitter it's it, it's about the story and this this is all about a story i like it i like it a lot Her hair looks so good. Couldn't be me. That is the Back to the Future car. You cannot tell me that's not the Back to. Is that? Is that the? That has to be the Back to the Future car, dude. If that is, she must have spent freaking millions on that crap. Oh my God! It, it, look, Jenny, what? That's gotta be the Back to the Future car. Someone leave some context down below, please. <laughs> Sick, showing all the shots now. And then one more thing. 
for shots like that, they'll probably have like a big fan blowing on her, or they could be uh, filming like when the when it's like really windy um, at a specific point. Like if the wind starts going and they're rolling, then they'll be like, okay, we're gonna use that shot. Or there could just be a big fan in the set. They fans are like your best friend when um, shooting music videos because then you slow it down, you look gorgeous with the breeze. So amazing. I used to spend get out of here that was uh that was insane that was really really good um you know we all knew that was gonna be good it was jenny of course um i enjoyed it i really enjoyed it i thought it was really well made uh, i, I like the editing i like the story the story was really cute <laughs> it was it was, it was badass it was, it was badass and the outfits were really well made i i just Again, like, I, I really enjoyed it, and, you know, and in the beginning, I thought it was going to have to grow on me, but I kind of like the, the style of it. It's unique, it's different, and it feels like Jenny, too. It feels like something Jenny would make. That's what I really like about it, because with Blackpink, uh, Blackpink is obviously what YG likes. Sometimes, Black, you know, Blackpink helps out and stuff, of course, but this feels like Jenny, something she would make, and that's why I like it a lot. When an artist can, like, come out as their self, it's you kind of get that like connection with them really so that's what i really like about this video that it just it feels like jenny it feels like something she would do and that's pretty sick that is pretty sick same with lisa she's been doing stuff that feels like lisa and now we'll see rose in december which uh yeah so thank you all for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like please subscribe i have a guide to 17 coming out very soon i'm in the works of everything i've been really really busy but uh thank you for watching i love you all make sure to go support jenny leave the link down below for the video this is amazing so i uh, sick video bro